Hello there, Coles here, and welcome back to another Build Showcase video. We're going to take a look at the Showcase Model 111, which is this puffer fish right here. And uh, it is also a restaurant inside, I think. So, I've already, I've already downloaded this, so we just need to head into the game now. No, not sandbox mode, let's go to adventure mode. Alright, here we are. So as I mentioned in the last video with the Ninjago City, I have already placed this pufferfish restaurant in the air above the city. So now we just have to get up to it. I don't know how high it is. I don't know if we can jump across or not, or we may need to get a flying vehicle. But thankfully there is actually one at the top of this thing here, so we could just do that. But I think we might be able to jump across. Alright, there we go. So, I mean, I don't really know how you're meant to get to this restaurant if you're just a regular customer. I mean, I'm I'm playing as Superman, so it's, uh, you know, it's no trouble for me. But for an ordinary person, um, I don't really know how they would get up here. They will have to go on the back of that manta ray bomber and just walk off the tail and uh, onto this platform. Okay, so as we go inside, we enter through the rear end of the puffer fish. Um, I'm not sure whose uh, executive decision that was, but uh, it's not the best idea they've had. So, as we walk in, we've got some stuff on the wall, say, I don't know what this is. Okay, and then we have some more pictures over here in a record. Very nice. Um, the restaurant itself, all the tables are green. It's actually, it's actually pretty cool the way they've designed these. So they're not straight, they're at an angle. But it just kind of makes it look cool, to be honest. We have these white napkins on the table. Uh, we've got some bigger tables, like this one. What the hell is that? What were all those noises? Alright, well, anyway. Uh, carrying on. Uh, we have the bar over here. Uh, there's not really much to it. It's just some shelves. We've got some different drinks along there. And, uh, yeah, some on the top as well. I don't know what kind of drink this one is. A weird telescope-shaped bottle. Okay. And, uh, and then we can go downstairs. Well, let's check out the view first. So this is, like, the face on the, on the, uh, on the puffer fish. And... Oh yeah, it's transparent glass, it's a window. Very cool. I also like the use of the lights under the bar. And also the texture of the bar, it's like brick. It's very modern looking. Very nice. So as we go downstairs, uh, so we actually have the kitchen down here. I don't know why I sound surprised, but... Because, I mean, it is a restaurant after all. Um... Yeah, so we have the kitchen, we have the cooking stoves and ovens, and then a nice air intake thing. It's actually very nicely designed, this this whole kitchen. Got the stacks of plates up there and glasses, and uh, a sink to wash up, the fridge, and, you know, the fresh... Uh, fruit and vegetables, it's not very much, but, uh, well, and I think that's it, so, yeah, this is going to be some short video, so yeah, we can take a look at it from the outside, what a beautiful smile, oops, we fell off, damn it, alright, well, this is going to be quite a short video, so I should probably, uh, do the next build so I think that's what I'm going to do uh, so the next build uh, just bear with me one moment as we get there alright so the next build in the list is 
this one right here. Um, which I'll just explain it when we're in the game. Okay, so this build uh, might seem kind of weird. It seemed strange to me at first. I didn't really understand what it was about. But then a friend of mine explained to me that the Badger is in fact... Uh, well, basically the game was called Badger or something. Like its code name before it was released was Badger. Or like the name they used in the, in the beta versions. I don't really know. But... For whatever reason, the Badger has some relevancy to the game. And... Everyone's supposed to know that. So we got a build with a badger surrounded by the different tools. And now I can't find it. I must have gone past it. Okay, so here we go. We are this is model 112. And uh as you can see it's like a giant badger. Surrounded by uh giant sculptures of the tools in the game. So we have well, this is a good test, I guess. What's this one? The discovery tool? I think this one is. Yeah. Then we have the copy tool over here. Then we have... What's this one? Landscape tool? Build tool. Okay, my bad. And the paint tool, which is this one right here. And then in the middle we have the badger holding... A golden brick and underneath there's some fluorescent colors coming out of it and making flowers and stuff um, okay so let's have a look at these uh, build not build tool but the tools in the game the sculptures of them they actually look pretty accurate, they're nicely made. And very well designed. It's actually impressive how accurate they look. So that's the paint tool. Then we have the build tool. I've got both the handles accurately upscaled. And yeah, and then the blue stood on the end. Cool. Uh, the copy tool. Got the scissors on the side. Important part. And uh, the handles again. And then this this brick here. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically a robot hand. And this holds. Uh, this transparent brick. Let's see, what does it look like on here? It looks pretty much just like this. Very cool. Okay, let's have a look at the badger then. Now the head's pretty nicely designed. Doesn't have any eyeballs, unfortunately. So that's a bit creepy. Maybe we could put some in. Um, free build discoveries. Where is it? Where's the damn eyeballs? Okay, here we go. This might make it a little bit less creepy, or it might make it more creepy, I don't know. Lol. <laughs> that, that's cool. Oh, there we go. It's a bit, it's a bit cross-eyed, but it will do. All right, let's have a look at the base plate part. I mean, what's is there something in here? Oh, that looks interesting. Okay, let's go inside. So inside we have oh. So we have all the different biomes, the volcano one, the jungle 
No, that's the swamp, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Candy Land Place. The. Is this. Oh, Egypt. It's, it's a desert. And this one is. The jungle, I think. This one is just grasslands with the, uh, the fern trees. And then we have. Um. Well, the snow winterland. I can't remember what all the biomes are actually called, but that's close enough. And then we have the the black place with the crystals and gems and stuff. Pretty cool. Don't know what these are on the ceiling. Um. Bloody hell, alright, Jesus Christ. Damn you, Badger. I can't even see it. Alright, let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Oh, it's dead. Pathetic. Alright, well, I think that's about it. I mean, is there anything else to see? I'm gonna break the back. I'm gonna break parts of it open. Just have a look if there's anything inside. There's probably not, but you never know. Oh yeah, there's nothing in there. Maybe there's something inside the badger. Take its head off. It might be hollow. Nope. Okay. I guess that's it. Anything inside this? Oh my god. That's pretty cool. So if you take the, bot the top off the present, it's just really... Oh. I, I ruined it. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, that's it. I mean, it's a pretty cool build. It looks good. It doesn't really have any function. But, uh, yeah, what the heck. Thank you very much for watching. Well, damn it, the game is frozen. Okay, there we go. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, you know, hit the thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. Maybe share the video if you feel like it, but, you know, you don't have to. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.